The Alignment to Your Soul's Calling As a young boy, I never thought I would grow into adulthood and share about my suffering that I was going through during those years. I never thought that it would transpire into bringing healing to those who have gone through what I have to a degree of those similarities. As a teenager, this is where mental health started to kick in of its illnesses and all the suffering within the human mind of those forms of thoughts. I never believed or ever thought I would be cured or healed of my suffering because I believed I deeply that I was not worthy or good enough. I carry this weight of mental health illnesses for almost 40 years until I healed completely from all of them. I once suffered with severe depression, severe anxiety, severe ADHD, addictive behaviors, and the alignments to PTSD. As a young adult, addictions were now set in deeply. There was no point to be here and to continue living and suffering, I believed. Deep, deep, deep inner suffering. During those years, I learned to put on a mask, and it made my outside appearance look in a way that I was worthy and good enough to others, as I covered up the darkness that I felt inside. Being hooked on steroids for 18 years, the world made me feel that I was now worthy and good enough, due to how my body looked being six foot six and lean at 280 pounds. Who would have thought in this young man's life for himself that there was ever any hope to truly heal from all that he has lived through of the carried weight of abuse? Dealing with shame and guilt, hate and resentments, and not feeling worthy or good enough. For some of us, it takes a near-death experience to wake up to the true being of who we are within these physical forms. That's how it was for me and the work I have done since raising myself back into the pureness of the eternal truth to who we all are within. Being gifted to come back into the physical body because I knew my path was going to lead to things that were more beautiful by staying here to do my soul's mission of work. I can only speak for myself but through the last five years of my life aligning and doing the work that was meant for me, it has been more important than anything. The old version of my human self no longer aligned to what I once believed was so important to me. The things that changed for me from who I am today to who I was before are no longer the same. As for the deep needs and desires that once completed me. Material things to feel good, sex to feel good, relationships to feel good, needing love from another to feel good, the need to feel heard and seen by others that I am worthy and good enough. These are just a few things that shifted that are no longer important like they once were before. The feeling and being within unity to the light and giving back to those who have not yet risen back into their pureness of light has become important over all things. Now feeling completed in my life to the light brings the greatest form of joy to my life. Helping others who want what I have in my life today within. Inner peace, freedom within and connected back to the light. Shifting away from the human consciousness, the aliveness of thoughts created within that space, and into the soul's consciousness, the aliveness of thoughts created within the eternal truth to who we all are, is what unfolded within my lifetime here. The aliveness of vibration shifts from where we once were into our soul body of being, our relationships shifts as well with others. We are no longer in the vibrational match to the degree of where we were before with certain relationships. 
It is hard for those who are still living their human experience to understand the truth to our spiritual experiences. So they pull away and believe you may be crazy. But those who have risen know this is the furthest thing from the truth. They just haven't had the experiences yet to understand our truth. Those who cannot understand our truth will fall away to allow for new relationships to come into place because we are more in match with those who have risen in their lives. This is not good or bad, just the truth to what is of this transition. The connection to animals and the presence of their aliveness of unconditional love becomes more appealing to make relationships with in life. They are just being who they are with no attachments but of unconditional love. The same alignment to what we have risen to, so we are now a match of vibration, at least for my experiences. The soul's purpose in giving back. We all rise up from the suffering of the past that took us away from the pureness of our being. At least for my experiences, for why it is I am here doing what I am doing in my life today. Being our true nature of our light will brighten the inner truth to others, helping to bring joy into their lives as well, as we give them hope that they too can rise up. When we reach this space, after completing our healing work of what took us away from the pureness of light, we are then embraced with excitement and joy, then feeling that joy through our passion to do what it is on why we have come here for our soul's mission of work. No one will truly understand who or what you are to the degree of your eternal truth within. There are unique qualities to our gifts and abilities that are within all of us, but we learn to be free from judgment of those who do not understand. It is all sitting there waiting for each person to rise to, as it is possible for all beings. It is a new challenge in a way that I never thought existed. But within the new changes, there is peace and calmness through the experiences like never before. Living in the deep knowing and understanding the true power of faith and trust as it leads the way. My point on sharing today is to align each person to understand you too have great purpose, even if you never believed it before, that no matter where you are on your path, the light is waiting for you. It is eternal, and it is for all who lost their way from it, and understanding it is never gone. Each person will be embraced back into the feeling and being of unconditional love, joy, and happiness. Make no mistake for this to be true, as I have found it myself, and to be here sharing my journey with you today. Healing the energy that took us away from the pureness of light will rise all into that field of feeling excitement, Enjoy and unconditional love for yourself and then into all things. Now free of all inner suffering of emotional health, mental health, and in our true alignment to our inner light. But each of us has to do the work. We all do. And we knew that coming into this earth plane for these experiences healing the experiences of the past that I cannot express to you on how important it is that releases a lower frequency of aliveness that is attached to the light body within the human form. It keeps us separated from its soul's purpose, for its soul's mission. And in the least of understanding, to our highest path within the light for what that will mean to each person, living our lives as we feel embraced back into the light. 
the higher self of the God extension that each being is extended from is never separated from you. But it is the weight from the past that separates us. Doing the healing work will release what separates us from the false beliefs that took us away from the pureness of light. So I hope my share today has connected with someone who has been seeking my story to understand more. The eternal truth of who we all are within has greatness that is waiting for each of us. But it happens once we complete healing what took us away from the pureness of light. All my love, I am Jeffrey Saunders with the Pureness of Light Energy. Thank you for listening and feel free to share with those who may align to my sharing today.